Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to share with you 10 apps for your Mac that you absolutely need to get if you want to level up your productivity exponentially. And trust me, I've tried a lot of them. And over time, I found myself coming back to the same few, which is what I wanna share with you today. I've broken this video into three different parts, focus, organize, and optimize, to help you find just the right apps that you might need for whatever it is you're trying to get done. Also, a lot of these apps have a free to use version, so there's truly something for everybody. If that sounds good to you, let's take a look at these 10 new Mac apps that'll help you get more things done faster. Starting off in our focus category is one of my favorite apps that I keep coming back to time and time again. This app is called Flow, and if you can believe it, it does exactly what the app name claims to do. It helps you enter a state of flow faster. It's a simple little timer that sits in your menu bar and lets you run a work sprint or a Pomodoro flow extremely easily. It has built-in notifications to let you know when your work sprints are starting and stopping, and I use this all the time for deep work sessions or whenever I feel like it's difficult to stay focused on one task. It's great because it's simple. It's also great because it pairs really nicely with this next app. How do you like that for a transition? All right, once you're ready to lock in on a work sprint, you need to know what it is you're actually working on. Yes, you could use a paper to-do list like it's the 1940s, but that's slow and quite frankly, really, really lame. Also, paper's not an app and this video is about Mac apps, not stationary. That's why the second app is everyone's favorite to-do list, Todoist. I've already made videos on it before and there's also tons of videos explaining how great it is on the internet. So instead, I'm gonna have Sir David Attenborough explain why you should use it like it's a nature documentary. This is Todoist, a creature of productivity, letting you use natural language that is like you're speaking naturally to a friend, to slot tasks into projects and time slots. Those time slots then sync to your calendar of choice, ensuring that you're kept on track throughout the day, nearly effortlessly. It's free to use, now that we've got a way to both lock in on a task and tasks to lock in on, let's change our digital environment to facilitate maximum focus with our next app. In the same way that your phone slurps you up into an endless black hole of soul-sucking, never-ending content so that you can be farmed like human livestock as you willingly hand your time and attention over to billion-dollar Silicon Valley cephalopods who want to turn our precious Earth into an autonomous hellscape run by mouth-breathing robots who can't actually think for themselves, this next app transports you to another place as you work. Wow, what a mouthful. That's right, our next app is called Portal, and it's another menu bar maniac that lets you step into an oasis of focus and calm. It has a bunch of different scenes to choose from, and with the click of a button, you're transported there as if by magic. I mean, not literally, you're obviously still in the same room that you're in, but your desktop will change and start playing relaxing sounds. It's, it's awesome. Portal has a free version, but in order to get all the scenes and sounds, it's something like four bucks a month. It's pretty worth it. All three of these apps do a great job of letting you get into a more focused state, but it's what you do with that focused state that really matters. Next up, we're going to look at some of my favorite tools for organizing and executing on your most pressing tasks. First up is an app that doesn't really need any introduction. If you've had even the faintest whisper of interest in productivity, you've probably heard of this app. But if for some reason you haven't had the faintest whisper of an inkling of productivity, let me introduce you to Notion. It's so difficult summing up everything this app can do, so for now, just think of it as a digital sandbox for anything and everything. To put it simply, Notion operates using pages. These are little buckets for text, ideas, and anything you can imagine. You can also make databases to organize your page even further, categorizing them using tags, statuses, or stati. I use my own Notion for obviously things like notes for my business, but then also writing scripts for short form and long form content, and then saving any web clippings that I find relevant to my own life. It's free to use up to a certain amount of blocks, and then after that you've got to pay, but it has been by far the best investment that I've made in myself and in my business and in my computer, and I couldn't recommend it more. But if you really want to talk about life changing, just wait until you see the next app right after a word from the sponsor of this video, Make. If you're not finding ways to make your apps work for you, you're seriously missing out on an opportunity to completely automate your workflows. Simply having your machine do work for you in the background can save so much time that you can spend on more pressing tasks. Plus, the peace of mind that you get from knowing that you're streamlining your workflows in a way that actually matters is amazing. The problem is, this can be daunting for some. How do you possibly make apps talk to one another, much less change one another from an automation standpoint? We all want efficiency, but how do we get it without taking a full-blown computer science course? That's where Make saves the day. Make is the leading visual platform for anyone, even someone like me, to design, build, and automate just about anything. There's literally no coding involved, which is why Make powers over half a million businesses worldwide. It's a simple way to build powerful automation right into the apps that you already use. So for example, if I wanted my Todoist to talk to my Notion, which is advantageous because Todoist has a super simple quick capture functionality on the 
iPhone. All I have to do is set up a dead simple flow and I'm gonna show it to you right here inside of Make. So as you can see, I have my Todoist uh, module here, which is with a web hook that they basically set up for you. And then over here is Notion. So you can see the different fields of this particular database, which I've linked, which looks like this. It's just a simple task list where I like to keep all of my quick capture tasks. It has all of the different kinds of Todoist fields mapped to the adjacent database fields here. So in order to show you how this works, I'm just gonna hit run once. Now it's open for new data. I'll hop over to Todoist and I'll add a new task. Let's just say this is clean my office Wednesday. So there it is. Just that simple, let's say I'm out and about and I'm capturing this task. If I hit add task and we go back to make, you can see that that task was captured and added to the database. And if we check our database, there it is, clean my office. That is the task that we just added and it has the status of not started and the due date that I set, which I believe was Wednesday. So that's how simple it is. Just two simple modules to completely automate all of the tasks that I capture out and about whenever I have a quick idea or something that I wanna remember, adding them directly to this database here so I don't forget them. That's how Simple Make makes it. When you sign up for your Make account, there's a whole use cases section which outlines different ways that people have used their own automations to level up their own personal productivity or business. The best part about this is that Make is giving everyone who watches this video one month free of their pro plan, which is literally 10,000 operations per month. It's super simple to sign up. Just click the link in the description below and get to automating. If you wanna take productivity on your computer to the next level, let Make help you with that. Thanks to Make for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to the apps. All right, be honest, how many of you have an email app that looks kind of like this? I know there's some of you out there. Do you wanna know how I know? Because I was once one of those people before I found this next app. Drowning in unread emails, subscribe to endless newsletters. It was an absolute mess. And it stayed like that for a long time because I thought clearing your inbox was hard. And yeah, it is if you're not using the right app. That all changed when I found Spark, the last email client you'll ever need. Spark is an email client that lets you connect all of your email accounts into one unified inbox and whiz through unread emails like a pro. It automatically categorizes emails based on their content so that you can archive groups of emails in one fell swoop. It also lets you block new senders to mitigate against spam and there's even an undo send button. Oh yeah, did I mention it has AI built in? It can literally be trained to sound exactly like you, so you can respond to emails without even thinking of them. If you want a smarter, cleaner inbox, this is the app for you. And if you want a better, more convenient clipboard, the next app is for you. This is one of those apps that I didn't know I needed until I actually installed it. If you're like me, there's a lot of copying and pasting involved whenever your fingers are on a keyboard. Maybe you're taking screenshots of inspiration online or copying the hex codes of certain colors. Either way, you're constantly having to switch windows from what you're copying from to what you're pasting to. The only reason that that's the case is because you aren't using Paste yet. Paste is an app that lets you copy multiple things and access them even easier across all of your devices. Now, instead of switching screens whenever you wanna paste something, just copy as many things as you want. They're all stored in a slide up clipboard ready to use at any moment. You can click and drag out of this clipboard or double click to place them on the page. I I genuinely use this every single day and I have a feeling that you will too. And if you don't, then that means my radar is way off. Rounding out the organized section is an app that helps me manage my screen's layout of windows. Sure, you could do it the old fashioned way of clicking and dragging if you wanna be the most boring person of all time, or you could use Magnet. Magnet is a simple app that allows you to instantly resize any window on your screen. I find it extremely useful when I need to constantly reference a note or a web page when I'm writing. In fact, I'm doing it right now as I'm writing the script. By the way, Sean, this is you from the past. Keep your head up. You're doing a great job. You're awesome. And I believe in you. And now I'm getting emotional. Magnet is a tiny but mighty way to make a difference in your day-to-day -day experience on your Mac. Can't recommend it more. Now that we're focused and organized, there is one last piece of the puzzle to fit in to transform your Mac in a big way. Let's dive into the last category on our list, and that's the optimized category. It's incredible to me that Apple hasn't actually come out with a native version of this next app because it's just so convenient. It places some pretty high power functionality into the menu bar of your Mac so it's accessible at all times. Whether it's turning on dark mode or locking your screen so that you can clean it, one switch absolutely saves the day and your time. It's got so many different little switches to do tasks that would usually take more than a few clicks. My favorite use cases are using it to eject any disk drives I have plugged in or toggling between light and dark mode. It's only a few bucks and I highly recommend it, but not as much as I recommend this next app. One of humanity's biggest struggles is constantly running out of space on hard drives. Actually, no, that's, it's 
was probably world hunger. That's a that's a pretty big, pretty big struggle there. No, in all seriousness, I fill up my hard drive if I so much as look at it. But that's where Clean My Mac X comes into play. It does a great job of making a cleanup process simple and painless by smart scanning your hard drives and identifying what's taking up the most space. There is nothing more stressful than getting this notification on your Mac, and there's nothing more relieving than knowing that you've just cleared a whole bunch of space. If you've got some cash to spare and invest in this one, I couldn't recommend it more. And speaking of being obsessed with something, this last app is something I truly think everyone needs. Imagine writing something to, let's say, your boss. You're typing along as you do, and absentmindedly you hit send, only to realize you signed off with I love you instead of something more appropriate. You're absolutely mortified, you can't unsend the message, and all you can do now is wallow in your own embarrassment, which is something that I do on a daily basis without even trying. Now, all that's left to do is to wait until you're fired from your job for the severe and inexcusable HR violation that you just committed. That is, until you install Grammarly. I started using Grammarly in high school nearly 10 years ago. Who am I kidding? It was, it was literally 10 years ago. I'm getting old. I used it back in my English class, but back then it didn't have half of the features it does today. Aside from giving you personalized suggestions on how to make your writing better, it can now analyze your writing using AI and give you suggestions based on the context of your writing. Implementing it is as easy as clicking a button. Now I no longer have to worry about sending the wrong thing to the wrong person, and I can rest assured that every single line in my writing will be as impactful as possible. So there you have it, 10 new Mac apps that are worth installing right now. These are all the apps that I use on a daily basis to do better work faster. But in all honesty, if you actually want a system for getting the most out of the things that you install on a device, you'd probably love this video right here. Thanks for watching, I hope this helped. And remember, keep scrolling mindfully. That was good, I gotta do, I gotta do more suspense like that.